My name is Samir Siyarustami. I'm an associate prof um, in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Calgary. In principle, we're using quantum mechanical calculations to design catalysts in silico. And the importance of these techniques come into play when we want to design catalyst materials without spending time in designing catalysts using experimental techniques. So if you think about it, um, if we can um, save our time to explore new materials experimentally, that would be a big game changing solution. So using um, computational resources and um, the power of uh, supercomputers these days, we can, uh, we can gain the information on the catalyst materials on the atomic scale without um, actually testing them experimentally. So that's a big gain for designing materials that we need for our energy solutions, our climate solutions. Um, so that benefits the whole society if we can boost uh, the process of discovering new materials. So unfortunately today in Canada and around the world we have the problem with um, GHG emission or greenhouse gas emissions and that's a problem we um, all researchers um, in the field of catalysis science and technology are trying to address and so what we are trying to do here is to help that process and try um, to get to a uh, scenario and a picture of having zero carbon emission or net carbon um, cycle. So that's what we want to do and that's the way this research can help. And if we can, um, we can commercialize these catalysts and we can test them of course experimentally um, and implement them in real devices. Um, that's the end goal um, of our research and we want to see that, we want to see that the scale up of those materials that are discovered and we used for real life um, um, devices and that can be used for our day-to-day -day life.